Honorable Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Mr. Speaker, yesterday, Liberal-appointed senators voted to gut Common Sense Conservative Bill C-234, an action that betrays farmers. For the last decade, this PM has, has repeatedly made the claim that the Senate and those he appoints to it are independent, yet this weekend proved otherwise. He and his Socialist Environment Minister were busy employing a campaign of bullying and pressure to force his senators to kill this needed carbon tax carve-out. The carbon tax is punishing the farmers who produce the food and the folks that need it. Will this Prime Minister finally just listen to Canadians and axe his carbon tax? Hey, hey. The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, I think my honourable colleague is well aware the other place makes the decisions on their own. We do not... The Conservative Party of Canada has senators in their caucus. The Conservative Party of Canada does not have a policy or a plan for the environment. But I can assure my honourable colleague that we do have a plan for, for the environment. And is that why we're able to make an investment of $1.5 billion to help farmers, protesters, reduce their environmental footprint? Mr. Speaker, we have and will continue to support our farmers and ranchers in this country. I just, said, I just want to say, I mean, as I said, the Honourable Minister sits right here. I can barely hear him. So let's try to keep the sound down a little bit. The Honourable Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Mr. Speaker, I know for a fact that farmers are asking that minister to axe the carbon tax. That PM promised that the Senate would be independent, but the actions this past week proved that that is a complete farce. We know he bullied his senators. The PM himself was on the phone over the weekend telling them they had to gut Bill C-234. The Prime Minister lied, and his minions continue to lie about whoa, whoa. the same time I did knows full well that you can't use that word. Yeah. I would say the Honourable Member should retract that and apologize. The Honourable Member of Battle River Crowfoot. Mr. Speaker, I will not apologize to that Prime Minister when he continues to lie about the impact of the and the independence of the Senate. I'm asking the Honourable Member to apologize for the second time and retract that word. The Honourable Member knows full well you cannot use that word in this chamber. So this is the last, uh, this is the last opportunity. The Honourable Member of Battle River Crowfoot, will you be retracting that? It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> I will not apologize to the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Curick, would you mind leaving us today? Let me fill this. I have to name you for the disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to the authority granted by me, standing order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this sitting day. But he did, uh, he did leave.